Hi, I'm Celeste. Welcome to my booktube channel. I have been gone for about a month because school started up and I just got busy getting adjusted to the new schedule. But I'm back and I am trying to make up my videos. So this video is my August 2018 reads and in the month of August I only read four books because not only was I busy with work and I didn't do YouTube videos, I also wasn't getting a whole lot of reading done. So I wouldn't call it a slump, but I would say that life kind of got in the way. I was still reading, but I was only reading in the evenings when I had a chance. Sometimes in the evenings though, I was so exhausted, I would just go home and vegetate and then go to bed and that, you know, you know how that goes. So, okay. So the first book that I finished for the month of August was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I read that on my Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy to hold up but it was so good. I've been in a mood to read contemporary romance and it really just made me very happy and so I enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, the next book that I read in the month of August was Sex Criminals Volume 4 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zartsky and it was okay. It was just mainly like a filler between like it it wasn't great. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed other volumes. It had it moved along the plot and I'm interested to read the next one, but it didn't it wasn't gripping and is as out there as other it, other volumes had been. So, you know, it was just okay. Um, the next one that I read was The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. I had seen some other YouTubers talking about Tessa Dare, and so I was like I have to get on this train so I checked it out on my Kindle and it was wonderful I got a good deal on it and it was just like historical fiction but it had like a tone that was just modern enough that it wasn't stuffy and weird if that makes sense so it was very enjoyable and I'll be reading Tessa Dare again uh, the next, the last one that I read for the month of August was Worth Fighting For by Kirsty Mosley, and I have a physical copy. And it's another contemporary um, uh, romance. And it was the second in a duology, and I didn't know that whenever I started reading it. But the way that the first book left off and the second book picked up, it didn't really matter. Like, it alluded to the first book, but it was in a way that I still understood what was going on. So, and it was just okay. It wasn't great. It was a little troubling because the male in it, and that's the problem that I have with a lot of these contemporary romances, that the guy in it is a little problematic. And so I'm looking for contemporary romances where the guy is not so problematic. I don't know, a little overbearing, a little like, stalkerish if that makes sense and then that book had some of that so sorry if you're looking for a contemporary romance that doesn't have a problematic male lead that one wasn't it so and those were the four books that I read for the month of August I wish I had read more um, September so far is going okay I'm excited for the contemporary-a-thon and I guess I will see you guys next time bye